Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time was a bit of an impromptu episode. Uh, the Blood Moon occurred, so we are able to complete the shrine quest to get the shrine on here by standing onto the pedestal naked. But I also stumbled across a shrine all the way... Where is it? Uh, all the way back here. At the very beginning of the game, quote-unquote, we passed by Fort Itano around episode 10, 8, 5, something like that, and we completely bypassed this. We stopped by uh, the cabin here and read a thing about statues, eyes glowing, and I was like, I'm gonna check out that later. But I never checked it out later, and so st looking around for Korok seeds, I stumbled back across it, and we got a shrine, and it was it was super cool. Because I was just looking for Korok seeds, and then suddenly I saw a statue's eyes, and it was glowing, and it was it was really sweet. Uh, and <laughs> last episode, we were supposed to head to Ludfo's Bog. I've been procrastinating that for quite a few episodes now, so let's do that right now. <laughs> Aww. Aww? I did not hear your approach. I was lost in this song written by my late teacher. He passed away several years ago, you see, and this was the last song he taught me. Mm. Excuse me, I fear I have gotten carried away. Nostalgia will do that to a eh, monsieur. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down through this region? Sure. Ooh. Excellent, without further ado. When a single arrow sleds two wings, the shine will rise like a bird's on the wings. Huh. Do you think the rings in the rocks refer to these oddly shaped rocks? And what of the shine? There's a mystery to be uncovered here, that's for sure. And I get the feeling the truth is beyond my wildest imagination. May the light illuminate your path. Two rings. When a single arrow threads two rings, the shrine will rise like birds on wings. Assumedly, assumedly, assumingly, we just need to shoot an arrow through two rings, right? That seems easy, but as with all these, all of these, there, there is a twist. Although that that looks like a shot that lines up right there. See that? That looks easy. We just have to shoot it through two arbitrary rings. Uh, let's get some value out of these guys. Yoink! 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 And yoink. I said. Well, that kind of worked, uh, and that didn't work. All right, well, I tried. So, a single arrow and two rings. That's all we need to do here. I might want to shoot from that one, but we'll, we'll try shooting. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. And shooting from, like, here won't work. Uh, now, it will be a good idea to use the ancient bow because there's less of an arc on this weapon. Also, I would like to equip uh, this... As well as my go-to gear, these. So if I stand at this one, this shot will not work. But this one might. This one... Ah! Uh, wait a minute. No, we can't stand here. Ah. Oh, wait, wait. We might be able to stand here. If I do it... No, I can't stand here. Uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, this is stupid. But what if I... Oh, this is cool. What if I backflip off of this and then shoot through it? Ah, oh, that's cool. Okay, so make sure I'm facing the right direction and also make sure I'm on top of this thing. Walk this way. Face it. Backflip. That did not work. Uh, but in theory, it could work. And that seems like just the kind of jank thing Breath of the Wild would do. So let's try this again. Line it up. Backflip. Alright. Slow-mo! Shot! Did I do it? No. But, 
you see what I'm trying to do, and I think this will work. Now, granted, I am starting at, like, at one of these, and I could... I could do any other one, but this one seems promising, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it for a few times, see if this works. I did it! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! That was cool! Now I'm curious, are there any other shots that are it's possible to make with this? Is this... Is this super open-ended, or could I have done it a host of different ways to achieve the same result? So, I'm, I'm gonna see. In fact, I'm gonna see on screen here, because I'm, I'm really curious. This was a cool shrine with a very unorthodox solution. Um, I suppose I could possibly do it, have done it with this as well. It would have been, it would have been harder, but I think I could have, yeah, I could have angled this in just the right way. To be able to make that shot. It, that one would have been difficult, though. Uh, the, shooting that one from this one would not have been possible. Shim de Go's shrine. Hmm. This one... Oh, man. This one probably would have been the easiest one yet. Uh, I mean, if I can get on top of it. Yeah, this one... If I line this up... I, I know I've already solved the puzzle, but I'm, I'm curious. I, I like this, this quest. So this one... Oh, that one would have been very possible. Okay. So, there are multiple ways to have solved this. Which is really the beauty. Uh, this one doesn't have a, sh a clear shot on anything. So, this one's border... Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. And now, I'm not gonna... I'm not going to calculate every single possibility of this, but I am curious. Would this one have been possible as well? This shot, right here. Oh yeah, th that would have been more than possible. Okay. Huh. Well, that's a very unorthodox solution. And we also have some peb peblets here. Moving in parallel, Shim de Go's Shrine. Hmm. Moving in parallel. What do these buttons do? This one summons a ball. Okay. Well, we, we did it. Ah. Oh. So this one we need to tilt a roo. Wait a minute. I, oh, there it is. Okay, we need to tilt a ball. Tilt this and wait, are we done? No. Don't don't tell me we're done. That Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I thought we got one in that that bunker in the what did I call it? Basin? Yeah, basin. Okay, apparently we didn't. Yoink. Ah, yoink. And then it should just go down there and fall into the thing? That's what I thought we did the first time, but now I'm not sure. Okay, wait, I guess we did. I guess we did. Okay, now there's a, sw there's a thing down there. And we can also fly down here, which is where our chest... Oh, yeah, that's where our chest is. Okay, so we get this. Great Thunderblade with attack of a 15. Oh, well, I picked it up. Cool. Uh, this is awkward. Okay, I actually have another theory here. If I do this, stay sit. Fly, fly, fly. Go, go, go. Run. Uh, okay, I'm here. Does this do anything for me? Or is it just kind of shooting the breeze? Okay, I don't think it does anything. But you can get up here, I guess. Which, cool for me? Okay, fine. We'll finally get to the Ludvo's Bog. I've kind of been dreading it because constant raining environments with a bunch of... Oh, goodness. I'm the bees. With a bunch of giant climbable things is a recipe for a lot of frustration. Oh, we can try out this thing finally. One, two, three, four. Did nothing. One, two, three, four. Ho! Oh! And he goes flying. Hey, you want some? Two. One, two, three. And he goes! Okay, we'll end you now. Sorry for playing with you. 
Goodbye. I could have given him like the ultimate hug of death by just putting on the the thunder helm, but I really want to get to this uh, this quest now. Okay, so this thing. What is this thing? What is this place? We have never been here, but there's a permanent thunderstorm over it. So I can only assume there's some reason for that. It's not just arbitrary. Is there anything here? Can we ride uh, aggro through here? Oh, you. Go away. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you. Die. Okay. And there goes our ancient bow. It's about to die as well. And we can ride our horse through here? I'm not sure how much I want to. Because lightning. And I'm not sure if the Thunder Helm protects our horse as well from lightning. That is something I am not aware of. But we can ride, we can ride aggro through here. Hmm. I'm wondering also if we should be climbing these mushrooms and going from shroom to shroom. But until, ah, oh, that one's, they're big. They're really big back here, wow. You know, it might be worth climbing one of these. At least, whoa. You who have reached this land of thunder, I present you with a trial. I was right. When the four spirits have, have been settled in their proper places, they will guide you to the hero's trial. <laughs> trial of thunder. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. At least we are immune. That, that much is certain. Also, there is a weird glowy thing up there. Also, at this point, I'm going to jump off aggro. I do not want aggro dying. There's something there. It, it looks like the... Oh, what is it called? The... It's not a spirit stone. Not a water stone. Oh, there's this stone from Okami, and it's really frustrating because you, you have to roll it through the level in both Okami and Okami Den, and it is really annoying, and it makes a, a tree bloom. And... Oh, there's another one. Yoink. So what do we need to, to accomplish? Get up here, Link. There's another one over there. And that one's blue. And then we have a purple one here. And then, are, okay, are they magnesable? No. They're, they're pick up a bull. That one looks like it requires a red thing. That one has blue. That one is yellow. How many of these are we supposed to do? And are we supposed to get them? Oh, we're supposed to get them here. Okay, that that makes things simple. Very cool, actually. They, they remind me also not just of Okami, but also of Wind Waker, because there are a ton, a ton of cool things like that in Wind Waker. There are the, the things that you can kill enemies, and they'll drop the glowy orbs. Uh, there's the thing in the game, uh, well, the Din's Pearl and, like, the Nehru's Pearl and stuff, and this is very reminiscent of that. Okay, so now, how do we get these up there? Because it is raining, so climbing is going to be an absolute nightmare at all times. Ugh. Get up. And get up. Ugh, this is really annoying. Jump up. I got, wait, I got hurt by that? Okay, for some reason I got hurt by that. Climb, oh, can I rest here? No. There, alternatively, since there don't seem to be any enemies around, I can just unequip all my stuff. Okay, so we have this orange ball, and presumably we're supposed to get it up there, so let's place it. Please don't roll. Please, goodness gracious, do not roll. And then we'll stasis the thing. Do I have any... Oh, oh, the spring... Ooh, ooh, there's... Does this boost stasis, I wonder? One, two, three, four. No, it doesn't do anything for stasis. But it is a use for it. And we don't attract lightning. Actually, wait a minute. There. Oh, barely. Barely did I... Was I able to launch that up there? Wow. Okay. Uh, so we have that. Which means we could take down this marker if we wanted. Let's fly over and, and just deal with the deal with them as they come because I really don't want to uh, risk them despawning and going back to where they're supposed to be. 
climb link. You're under a lip. The rain should not be bothering you. Okay, I have the orange ball. It looks like an orange gumdrop, which are always the worst ones. They, you can't, if you argue, then you don't know, you don't have taste buds. You just don't have an opinion on the matter because the orange ones are definitely w the worst. They taste like cough medicine mixed with like squash. And that's not a good combination. Go away. Okay, that, that'll get them to go away. Uh, I don't see an orange one of these. I Maybe it's supposed to be yellow? I guess? Unless these things are colored. The ones on the sides. I don't think they are, though. No. Actually, no, this is... Yeah, this is the one, because they have symbol... They have unique symbols on them. And this one matches its symbol. Get in there. Get... In... Get in there. Okay. Uh, the green one's right there, and we need the red one still, so the green one's on top of this, and it's not supposed to be. As official as it looks, it is not supposed to be on top of this. So let's climb. Uh, really, this this process would be easy if not for all of the, the rain and thunder that makes it impossible to climb. Cannot believe I, I didn't take damage off that jump. Okay, so there's only one left? Really? That I find very hard to believe. This this seems like it would have been a bigger trial than it has been, but I don't know, maybe this is of just the height that we can't stasis it over to the, the plateau. I mean, I don't know. But in theory, if we get this thing up to maximum, maximum, maximum overcharge, max, max, what, on, link? climb. Maximum over Saiyan. We can uh, jump up. Okay, just like the last one, we should be able to set this gently. Do not roll. Stasis it over. Get it over. Come on. Oh, boy. Get it up to red. Get it up to red. Get it up to red. Did I do it? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, that... Well, I think that's that. We get our shrine now. I, I really expected this to be a bigger ordeal. I really, I also expected it to take up a larger portion of the episode. Also, if, in case you're wondering why I'm stasising uh, bats, because it doesn't make any sense. If you stasis one of the keys in the swarm, for some reason, I don't know why, don't ask me, the rest of the swarm will just leave. Like, it's not even of the, the case where you hit the, the swarm and then they'll leave you alone for like 30 seconds, it will actually just leave you alone for good. It will despawn for some reason. The one bat that you stasis will usually come after you, but the, the rest of the swarm does not. And we did it. Which hopefully this will cause the rain to cease because then we can climb on top of the, the mushrooms and get Korok Seeds, because Korok Seeds is really why I... <laughs> it's really why I play Breath of the Wild now. I, I, I'm in it for the Korok Seeds, because I have 230 some of these, and 300, or the 900 mark is in sight, as abstract as that concept sounds. Toyasha Shrine, or Yasa Shrine. Buried Secrets. It's been a while since we've seen a, a Blessing Shrine, and even though we've been doing trials, we're not seeing Blessing Shrines anymore, which I am happy about. Okay, before I go pell-mell blowing up everything, I feel like that's a bad idea. Like, I feel like that's an actively bad idea, so I am not going to do that. I will get, a lay, get the lay of the land first. Buried Secrets, it says, is the name of the shrine. And if I've learned anything from from Wind Waker and, and box puzzles, it's you don't just start moving them without a plan. Because if you do that, then the chances are you're going to ruin your chances of being able to solve the puzzle. Also, now that I'm no longer in Lightning, let's re-equip all of our stuff. Pull that up. Just so we can progress. And this thing's closed, of course giant button down there, which we can't fit into quite yet. No chest. 
Any chest on the other side? Because that would be... That would make sense. No? No chest over there. And we're supposed to be able to get over there as well to get that. So... I guess... Okay, let's do the lowest risk things first. I'm, I'm really scared, as you can tell, of blowing this up. I suppose I can just reset everything. But that's... Uh, this is just kind of scaring, scary to me. Okay, we're gonna blow this up. And that's our giant button, which we can't actually press. Okay, so there's gonna be a block in here somewhere. This is... <laughs> this is kind of fun. I hope these respawn when I come back in here because blowing up everything is is really fun. Okay, uh, well, I guess they want us to blow up everything. It, it's not closing off any routes to us. Although, wait a minute, some a thought just occurred to me. Will we be able to even get over there if these are blown up? And the answer I think is no. We will not be able to get up here if we blow this up. So are we absolutely certain that we want to do that? And I don't think we are. So I'm gonna blow up one side of it. Ah, and we can get this. And there's a block there. We can grab this at least. Uh, actually while we have, oh boy. Ah, uh, this is not going well. Oh, well, we have control of this. I was going to say we push it up over there. Ugh! But I think that was a bad idea. All right, well, we, uh... Actually. We're supposed to be able to blow up all of this? So the thought occurs to me... Blow that up. That we get up here. Onto this platform. Swing this wide. There. Use it to climb up. And then, scoot it around. I think I just pressed the button, yeah. Uh, that wasn't my thought, though. Okay, it fell off. Cool, so we can still use it. My thought is, they gave us this transparent grating for a reason. And it's so that we can manipulate the block. So we use the block to get up, and then we get up here. But that's not actually the end of it, come to think of it. We still have a chest to grab. Push it gently, Link. Gently. And these things are... Wait a minute. Huh. Well, funny thing. Break it! What's in here? Another chest! An unforeseen chest, too. Okay, back to what we were doing, though. Whoa! 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 Robber armor? This armor has built-in electricity resistance thanks to its source material, an ancient mar marvel called rubber. Such technology does not exist in this modern age. I did not expect to find a piece of equipment, of all things. Just as the random... Careful now. The random... Reward in a shrine. Wow. Can we land on that from here? I think we can. We fly over here. We grab the block. The the solution I have, the first one, was to use this as kind of a st uh, ladder to get up. But it occurs to me we could just push this off with the block. But I'm going to run with my first solution because it's much cooler, gentle. This doesn't work, does it? Oh, boy. Stop. No, it does not work. All right. Uh... Alternatively, we could have used the chest to achieve the same end. This is about to follow me. But instead, we're forced to... <laughs> to, to adopt the, the chief strategy. All right, well, let's get back up here. I've spent enough time in this shrine. We did get the rubber armor, which is great. E gads! Hmm, what is it, my smart man? What are you looking at? Hmm, what could it be? I happen to notice that a section of the cliff face there in the distance looks almost man-made. <laughs> my smart man, tell me. You can see it too, yes? I would take a closer look if I could get there if I'm on my own. Cliffside etchings. Wait. You mean that? You know, the thing we've done? Well, well, if it isn't the all-knowing young man. I'm in the market for a little something to pique my curiosity, so I spend my time gazing into the horizon. 
I did it. <laughs> okay, what are we going to be doing the rest of the time this episode? Well, the first thing I would like to do is abstract, partake, rent, I don't know. We're going to be take. Oh, yeah, I forgot you exist. We're going to be taking out... Wait, have we talked to you before? We, yeah, we have. Okay, we, we've done. We've talked to you. It's taking Hilda oh. out of the stable. Yes, aggro's awesome, but I did promise that we would be uh, using mm -hmm. Hilda at least to get her up to 100% bond. So I'm going to be doing that. We're, we'll take aggro into our care way right here. And then, I think the only places we have not explored in this entire region are is Mount Rome, Lindor's Brow, Upland Lindor, and that's it. Well, there is one more thing. Uh, Mount Satori does glow at night, so I would like to discover what that's all about. Because, it, honestly, since I saw it the very first time, I have no clue when. I, uh, I've been... My curiosity has been piqued since then, so I, I really want to know what that's all about. Okay, uh, I'm wearing the Korok mask to get more Korok seeds. Uh, what else do I need? Is that it? I think that's it. Let's, let's ride and find out. I doubt that... I highly doubt that there are more shrines there. It doesn't make that much sense to me for there to be more shrines, considering there have been uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shrines here. If this, I'm not sure if this one was in this region, but there have been around seven shrines. Actually, wait a minute. Uh, those are in different regions. So seven entire shrines here. Oh, Hilda, can you make it up this? No, you can't. Oh, don't fall. Don't fall, girl. This is a bit too steep for you. Uh, I won't bother equipping the uh, the gear because the ancient gear because I don't want all my horses to have that. Okay, up to Mount Rome. Whenever you see that there is a pond at the top of a mountain, it's almost always it almost always has something there, whether or not it's a Korok seed or just like one of these. Oh, hello. I already have that marked. Okay. Is is up for debate, but. It's all, almost always worth my time going here. Okay, what what's here? A bunch of baddies? That sounds fun. Oh, hello! I have I have a technique for you. It's called come in here with me. Come on, come on. Uh, and then let's grab this. Do 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 do. Thank you. Thank you for your patronage. As I insta kill the two scouts or lookouts outside. Well, cool. Normally, I don't show something like this on screen, but I don't know. I'm feeling adventurous today. We also could have shot that. Royal Claymore with attack. Neat. Okay, where? what else is interesting up here? We're not actually yet to the top of the mountain. And I'm really excited. Man, Korok Seeds are really what I live for nowadays, aren't they? Like, that's what I was hoping to find. Not shrines. I mean, we can get a new heart container. Awesome, but... Korok seeds, man. I don't know. Of re of late, since I, I thought we could collect them all, I've gotten a bit addicted to them, and now they're all I talk about. Maybe I should fast Korok seeds. Actually, that sounds like a horrible idea, because I do plan on getting them all. Okay, what's up here? There's a road that leads here? That's odd. There's a Korok here, sure, but there's just a road that leads up to the top of the mountain. That's odd. And what is that? An updraft. Uh, why? Why is there an updraft? What am I, I missing here? There's supposed to be something here. Odd, man. That's really weird. You. Hello. It's a, a camp of a man that is not wanting me to die. Foot race. Check. Foot race. What? <laughs> Hey, friend, you look like a tough boy. T -t -t tough boys, tough boys, they're coming at you. But how tough are you? Tough enough to challenge me to a race? Really? Y you want to do this with me? You want to do this with me right now? You're on. Yeah. Yahoo! Now we're talking. This is fantastic, but every challenge has to have some stakes. I bet you 20 rupees I can beat you in a race. You'll have to pay first, though. Let's get started. Yes, now you're getting into the spirit of things. I'll go set something, set stuff up, but don't go anywhere. Oh, I, this guy doesn't even know. He doesn't know what he's signing up for. I have 
I have uh, stamina restoring items and I have speed boost. Okay, thanks for waiting. I'm so ready I could burst. I bet you could do. So let's begin the race. The goal is the flags on top of the mountain. There's only two of us, so the race ends when someone else reaches them. One more thing. You could probably guess this already, but this is a foot race, not a hoof race. If you ride your horse up there or run away from the goal instead of towards it, you'll be disqualified. Uh. And now it's time. Get ready. Go! Okay, it... This may be cheating. Let's see, it's 9 p.m. So, if I just equip... Where is it? Uh, over here. Do, do, do. If I just equip this, I get night speed up, and I can go. Oh, you... You don't stand a chance, sir. In fact, I could take shortcuts. But I don't even need to. You're just done. You're done. I have a... I have a three-tier speed boost. Can't stop my dunks. Oh, he's... He's so slow. He can't stop my dunks. He can't match my hustle. Oh, but what's that? You have lightning to deal with. I do not. I am better than you, actually. Uh, just to make sure I know where I'm heading. I'm heading here, right? Let's let's put a green thing. For green for goal. Because the goal is to humiliate this man. And I don't care how I achieve it. Also, there are rocks here. I'm guessing there's a Korok seed or something. Um, you know, just pull out my map while I'm running. You can't stop me. Oh, that that's why the updraft is there. In fact, that's why this is there. Do 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 And just equip this. Yoink! Fly up here. Or swim, you know. Whatever. He doesn't even... Where is he? I don't know where he is. And we're just going to... Fly. Ha! Huh. Betty, you didn't see that coming. Poor sap, I'm gonna steal his money. This wasn't even fair. Look at that. Slow and steady wins the race. My foot. Done. Wait, you're done too? You were done first? Hmm. That means I lose. Your time was a minute and nine. I really wasn't trying my best, but here, a bet is a bet. Here's your reward for a well-placed run. 50 rupees. Phew. So, one race again? Now, do we get a reward if we get a time under one minute? That is the question, and the answer to that question is... No. Getting 50 seconds, seconds of time does not yield another reward. No, I've had enough. Ah, uh, that's not the answer I hoped for. Use all that traveling you do as a chance to build up your leg muscles. I know this episode is getting a bit lengthy, but we're so close to being done with this region, with having explored everything. And I just want to push forward a little bit longer since there is so little left, so that we can declare this area conquered, except for a few Korok seeds here and there, and and move on to the next area in the in the next episode. Man, these things are just everywhere. It's almost it's difficult to to record an episode proper because the there are, there's stuff everywhere, and we're at Lindor's brow. Uh, we're getting a shrine indicator, and we have this thing. Which is very easy to... It's In fact, it's so easy to complete that... I'll just do this on screen. Now, but where is the shrine? We were getting an indicator. I don't think it's... I think it's in this region. Let's spin around. Okay, we're not getting a reading anymore. Oh, oh, we're getting a big reading now. Okay, it's straight ahead. It's straight ahead. In fact, I'm just gonna kinda cut through this. So that we can... See where it is. Is it in a new area? Spin around. It's this way. If it's anywhere, then it would be on the, the mountain side, not the mountain uh, top. So, we're barely getting a reading. Oh, wait, wait. Is it this way? It's this way. Wait, whoa. You see that? Is that it? Here. Uh, we can't blow it up now, but... Let's climb up. Because that's the direction. That's the right direction. And it is a, a hole in the wall. It's going to be a nightmare to climb up there, but... It is a hole in the wall. So let's... Let's climb up. Oh, that looks like it could be it. Oh, thank goodness the rain is stopping. Okay, let's jump up to this ledge. And... It being inside this mountainside would kind of line up. So, let's shoot this. Is this it? 
Oh, that's like that's a hollow cave. Is that it? It is! Yes, I was right. I, I knew it had to be in the mountainside somewhere. It didn't make any sense for this thing to be in the mountaintop. Ah, <sighs> Magnora Shrine. Or Magna Ra Shrine. Magna Ra's Blessing. Rather strange, considering that this isn't a shrine quest. Although, thinking about it, we didn't talk to... Uh, Silver Rupees, wow, that's, <laughs> that's actually terrible. We didn't talk to the denizens of the... The Serene Stable, so maybe one of them pointed out that there is a a hole in the in the cliffside over here. Also, apparently there's a Korok down there. I don't remember getting it, but there's a Korok down there. And that is going to be it for this episode. Now, I haven't mentioned it all video, but I would like to mention it here. This is the 100th episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on my channel. And it also marks the first time where a series has reached the triple digits on the channel. The runner-up, which we surpassed long ago, is Okami, which ended on episode 79. So, great! Now, rather than going on a sappy monologue about how far we've come and how proud I am of the series and things I should probably be saving for the end of the Let's Play, I think it would be a good opportunity to predict how many episodes we have left in the Let's Play, because that's a question I think that everyone, including myself, is asking right now. So real quick, we're just going to do a brief tally so I can I can get a ballpark figure. So uh, exploring the next ep area, I would say probably take is going to be taking around five episodes, just to get everything done, every boss, every shrine, um, everything that can be uncovered there, every memory, if there is a memory there. Uh, so five episodes for that. Now, if the story area is is there as well, uh, I believe historically we've taken about six, maybe seven episodes to clear out Divine Beasts and all of the uh, exposition surrounding them. So seven episodes for that, uh, and then we're into the next area. We're already up to like 12 episodes for that. Uh, in the next area, which is very large, I foresee that lasting like 10 episodes, maybe 12. 12 episodes, uncovering every secret, finding every Korok, which I guess is off-screen anyway, and getting everything that we can in the next area. That's 12 episodes. We're now up to around 23, so episode 123. Uh, at this point, I don't know how the order is going to go for this. Uh, we may do these completely out of sequence. I don't know. But I think that we are, we're at least looking towards Hyrule Castle, so I'm going to uh, tally that next because, again, I don't know how this is going to go. Hyrule Castle is fairly multi is, is multifaceted. Uh, there are multiple air tiers uh, and levels on it. Just looking at the map, I, I haven't seen anything inside of it. Um, it's, it's very dynamic looking, so I would say maybe mm, eight episodes just to go through Hyrule Castle. Maybe that, I think that's very generous, but uh, I'm just, I'm being generous here. Uh, eight episodes for that, uh, I don't know, maybe two episodes for a quote-unquote finale. For all I know, there's story stuff after we, we clear out Hyrule Castle. I have no clue what to expect, so I'm just gonna say... Two episodes for that. Maybe three. So we're up to, like, 30. We're up to 30. Um, but then, that's not all. Because we have to get every Korok. Now, I do plan on making this one episode. Regardless of how long it takes me, it's probably going to be one episode just because I don't think anyone's going to want to watch two episodes of me just getting Koroks. Especially because as I get more, I'm going to be resorting to websites to help me track them down. Uh, so that's going to be one episode. But then we also have to jump into DLC Pack 2, which is an additional, like, five or six episodes. Maybe seven or eight. So, generously, very generously, I see this this series lasting until episode 150, I think? Maybe 140? So that means we're, all, we're just barely two-thirds of the way done. So we have plenty of Let's Play in front of us to enjoy. So if you're worried about the series ending, don't. At least not for another, like, 15, 20 episodes. Then you can start thinking about wrapping up. But even then, I still have content planned surrounding Breath of the Wild that I would like to release. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I hope you, that quelled some concerns. I certainly quelled some of mine, just being able to voice that. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!
Hopefully, Sif will catch up. Now, I'm wondering, because... Oh, whoa, whoa, hello! Hello! Final, final thing! Final, final thing! Final, what do you call it? A, 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 a fairy, great fairy fountain. Ooh. Okay, well, we, we did hear, hear tell of it, but... It was, uh, it was one of those things where it was like, oh, yeah, we'll find it eventually. Okay, this place is... <laughs>